everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today, I wanna share with you guys some of my skincare favorites and some newer products that I'm just now bringing into my routine. So I actually am really, really happy with my skin right now. Probably the happiest I've ever been in my life, apart when I was a teenager, for whatever reason, I had perfect skin and I didn't do anything. Ah, <sighs> youth. I actually feel really, really good about my skincare routine right now. So I wanted to share some of the products that I am loving and that I think are making a huge difference in the look and feel of my skin right now. So if that sounds good to you, keep on watching. Everything I mention, I will link in the description box down below. So if you are interested in checking any of these products out, I would check down below. By the way, I just wanna say, I am not a dermatologist. I am not a skincare expert. I have no qualifications whatsoever. I just teach ballroom dancing. But I will say, uh, these are just my experience with it. This is just what I know. And if you if you wanna know really good things about skincare, you guys should follow Skincare by Hiram. I will link his channel down below as well. He has unbelievable skincare recommendations and he is a skincare expert, so he knows what the heck he's talking about. Way more so than I do, but I just wanted to share what, what works for me. So just to give you a background on my skin type and my skin concerns, I have a normal skin type, so I wouldn't consider myself dry or oily, although I do get some dry spots occasionally. I also live in a humid climate, so that also plays a factor into what types of products I use. And then my skin concerns are mostly anti-aging and wrinkle defense because I'm old. I'm not that old, I'm 34. So first of all, I wanna share with you how I store my skincare. And this has been a game changer for me because I used to just have all of my products just out on my bathroom counter and my bathroom counter is small. So it was like overcrowding things. If I accidentally moved my hand the wrong way, I'd knock something over and then it was like dominoes and they'd all fall over. It was just a pain. So please don't, I'm sorry how dirty this is. I should have cleaned it before the video, right? So I bought this Lazy Susan from Big Lots. You can buy these things on Amazon. You can buy them at HomeGoods, TJ Maxx. They definitely have a huge variety of these. What are these, what is this called? They definitely have a big variety of organizers like this. But I love this one, it just sits right on my counter. I can spin it easily just grab whatever I need. So I really, really suggest picking up an organizer, especially one that spins, just for your bathroom counter to, to keep your skincare in. Okay, so first of all, I just wanted to kind of go through like my daytime routine. I don't do a lot for daytime. I just basically focus on moisturizing and SPF. So first of all, I really enjoy the Pharmacy Honey Halo Moisturizer. I did share this in my last Sephora haul, which I will link down below. This is just an absolutely thick, creamy moisturizer. Now, I do live in a humid climate, but I don't care. I wanna be like moisturized to the max on a daily basis. Just because moisture helps with fine lines and wrinkles, preventing fine lines and wrinkles, and it helps to kind of plump your skin. So whatever kind of fine lines and wrinkles you have are just less noticeable. So I really, really enjoy the Pharmacy Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. I also love it. It comes with a little scoop that's magnetized to the top so you never lose the, the scoop and it's a very heavy weight. So this is definitely more of an expensive product, but I think it's worth it. So I'm really enjoying this. Okay, and by my bathroom counter, I as soon as I get out of the shower, I moisturize, and then I put on this under eye balm that I've recently picked up as well in that same haul. So this is the Tula Skincare Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. So this is just a stick that you literally just draw underneath your eyes it provides good moisture and it's just super quick. You don't have to fuss with putting your finger into your products or anything like that. It definitely adds a cooling sensation, like right away, as soon as you put it on, you're gonna feel the cooling sensation. So I really, really like that. So I'm enjoying this a lot as well. 
I haven't used it that long enough that I noticed like a huge difference, but the feeling of it is very nice. Another under eye cream that I'm really enjoying for daytime is the Belief Under Eye Balm. I, I usually keep it at my makeup desk and I'm like four feet from my makeup desk, but I, I can't reach it. So I'm just gonna put a picture up over here so you can check it out. But I really enjoy this for deep moisturization underneath my eyes. And I love using that eye cream right before I'm going to do my makeup. Cause I just think it preps it for a really good canvas for makeup. So if you're looking for like a good moisturizing under eye cream, I definitely suggest that one. And the next thing is the most important thing in any skincare routine, it is SPF. So if you're not wearing SPF on a daily basis, you really, really should be just because anything else that you try to do for your skincare routine, if you're not topping it with an SPF, you're pretty much counteracting the effects that you're trying to do because of the sun and the damages from the sun. So I definitely suggest finding an SPF that is something that you like. Now there's several different kinds out there. There's different finishes. This one is my number one favorite, favorite, favorite SPF. And actually the, the label's completely worn off. So this is the Kinship Self Reflect probiotic moisturizing sunscreen. So I absolutely love this sunscreen. I've mentioned it in my videos in the past. It is zinc oxide, it's, it's broad spectrum SPF 32, which is really good. And when you squeeze it out, it does have a slight tint to it. I don't know if you can see that, which actually makes it not have a white cast. Now, when you rub it in enough, Obviously I put way too much on my hand, but that's okay. I need it on my hand anyway. <laughs> when you rub it in enough, the white cast, there is no white cast. So that's awesome. So I think it really is going to work for a lot of different skin tones. But the thing I love about this is how it feels on the skin. It feels incredibly lightweight. It does not feel like that crap that your mom used to squeeze out and rub all over your face and body when you were a kid at the beach where you just felt like sticky and just, just gross. This feels like a face moisturizer. It's just so hydrating and it leaves this absolutely beautiful glow to your skin. Beautiful for underneath makeup cause it gives that kind of like lit from within glow, but also really nice just on its own. So I will say if you have like extremely oily skin, this may be too moisturizing for you. But if you have like normal to dry skin, you're going to absolutely love this. I just think it's the best SPF I've ever used in my life. So highly, highly suggest this for a facial SPF. If you do have extremely oily skin, there is an SPF that I would recommend to you. And I used to use this if I was going outside in the summer. I live in Florida, so it's, extremely hot in the summer. So in the summer, if I was going to be like outside sweating a lot, this was a, an extremely mattifying sunscreen. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen here. It's from the brand Ren and it's their mattifying sunscreen. I will say it does leave a slight white cast. So if you are of a deeper skin tone, this probably isn't going to work for you. Um, but it is really, really good. Very much mattifies your skin. So if that's something you're looking for, I do suggest that. Okay, and then another SPF that I leave at my desk because it's actually marketed as a primer, but I use this as my SPF and my primer sometimes when I'm sitting down to do my makeup. And I, I really like this one as well. This is the NYX Bear With Me Sunscreen Daily Moisturizing Primer with Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. So I really enjoy this one as well. It's extremely lightweight as well. Um, it's more of a moisturizer consistency, like a true, just like thin, wat almost watery moisturizer. So again, if you are dry to normal, this would be really nice for you. It's just, just gives a very, very nice moisturized base, no white cast, and it is really nice for underneath makeup. Obviously that's how it's marketed, but I sometimes wear this if I'm not wearing makeup too. I will say it does have quite a scent to it. So like a perfumey scent, they've obviously added fragrance. So if you are sensitive to fragrances or you don't like fragrances, I probably would skip over this one, but I think it's quite a, a quite pleasant scent. I think it's nice. And I just, I really enjoy this one, especially under makeup. That's why I leave it at my desk. 
that's really it for me for daytime. I just use uh, a moisturizer, some kind of under eye cream, under eye moisturizer, and an SPF. And I'm good to go for the day. So at nighttime, it's a little more of a complicated situation. So let me go over that. So first thing is I cleanse my face, whether I'm wearing makeup or not, I always cleanse my face just because it's important to take off any SPF that you might still have on your face from the day and just completely clean it off so that it's not sitting on your face overnight. My favorite cleansing balm, I start with a cleansing balm. It just breaks down your makeup and your SPF really nicely. Is this cleansing balm from the Inky List the Oat Cleansing Balm. So I really, really love this cleansing balm. This one is pretty much empty. There's not much left, so I don't even think I can. Oh, there we go. So it comes out just like in a kind of balmy type of consistency, obviously. And it really, really like you work it into your skin and it breaks down eye makeup beautifully. I should have a towel here so I can wipe this crap off my hand. Okay, now the Inky List, I will say, if you have never heard of the Inky List, they're an extremely affordable skincare brand. And the reason is, first of all, their packaging is very minimal. It's nothing fancy, although I love that it comes in a squeezy tube. It's very convenient. And also that their ingredients are very simple. It's not a super complicated ingredient list, which I actually appreciate because I know what I'm putting on my skin, you know? And so I do really like this. It has no fragrance, which actually makes it smell kind of weird. It does have like a weird scent to it, but you can tell it's not an added fragrance. So that's kind of a downside. And the other downside is that when I apply it and I wash it off, it does leave sort of a greasy film on my face but I always go in with an actual face cleanser afterwards anyway, just to get off any remaining cr you know, crud on my face. So I don't mind it, especially for the price. I think this is $9.99, so it's really affordable. So I will put up with the smell and I will put up with the greasiness for the price tag. The two face cleansers that I use after I've gone in with my cleansing balm, this one is my favorite. This is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. Just a very gentle, no scent, just basic sort of face cleanser. I just really like a basic face cleanser. I do have extremely sensitive skin, so I tend to get red very easily. I tend to get irritation on my face if I use something that's like too harsh. So this one works perfect for me, and this is actually empty. I mean, completely empty. So I've gone through the whole thing and it lasted me a really long time because you really don't need a lot. Just a little bit will do, it'll suds up, and I just kind of use this as my second cleanser and I really, really like it. I would say that if you have dry skin, like very dry skin, this might be a little too much for you because it really does completely clean your skin. You know, just take that into consideration. All right, and then the next face cleanser that I have is the Vegan Milk Cleanser from Milk Makeup. So this one is perfect if you have dry skin or normal skin. It has much more of like a creamy sort of effect. So it comes out, it almost looks, I don't really wanna waste, well, for you guys I'll waste some. <laughs> it almost looks like a moisturizer just very thick and moisturizing, so it's really nice. That one is newer to me, but I am very much enjoying it. Okay, and then the next product, this is newer to me. I, for years, used the Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum, and I really, I really liked it, I enjoyed it. I thought I could try something new, so I bought this Vitamin C Serum from Timeless Skincare. It's their 20% Vitamin C Ferulic Acid and Vitamin E serum. It comes out completely just clear. I'm not going to pump any out on this one because I have to I have to save it for my face. Vitamin C is an antioxidant that even skin tone and helps build collagen. So also contains vitamin E and ferulic acid used to extend the life and effectiveness of vitamin C. The reason I bought this particular one is because of Angie Hot and Flashy. I will link her channel down below. She did this really cool pH test with a whole bunch of skincare and you'd be really surprised. Some skincare products, their pH is either too high or too low that your skin can't actually absorb the product. So you're basically paying all this money for, you know, a, a glorified moisturizer or a glorified 
liquid that's literally doing nothing for you. So this was one that she had recommended that does have the, the correct pH that your body can actually absorb it, your skin can actually absorb it and get benefits from it. So that's why I bought it. I've only had it for about a month, maybe. So I haven't seen any crazy results, but that is something that I'll let you guys know about. My nighttime skincare routine, after I wash my face with my cleansing balm and my cleanser, I rotate the next step every night. So I either cleanse and do the vitamin C serum, I cleanse and do a retinol serum, or I cleanse and do a resurfacing treatment serum. I go to the vitamin C, then the retinol, then the resurfacing, then back to the vitamin C, then the retinol, then so on and so forth. So I switch the second step in my routine every night so that I'm not like overdoing one, if that makes sense. So my retinol, let's go to the retinol. So this retinol serum is from the Inky List, which is where my cleansing balm is from. I really, really enjoy this retinol serum. And this is my second or third tube. I used the first tube of this right when the shutdown happened for the pandemic last year, like March, April. I used this religiously and I saw huge results, like huge results. And because I was home so much, I was really paying attention to my skin and I wasn't really wearing makeup, right? So I was really paying attention to my skin and I noticed just overall, it looked healthier, it looked smoother. I really, really like this product. And again, it's very affordable because it's from the Inky List. So this is supposed to encourage like cell turnover. It's actually the most researched skincare ingredient that exists apparently. And it's really good for anti-aging and kind of smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles. The thing with retinol is you have to use it for a while before you see the results. So it's something you just wanna stay consistent with. And if you are using a retinol, you absolutely have to wear SPF because it makes your skin even more sensitive to the sun. The second step on the off day, I use a resurfacing night serum. So this is from Pharmacy. This is the Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. I've been using this for years. It is unbelievable beautiful. You put it on before you go to sleep, you wake up, your skin looks like a baby's face. No pores, no texture. It just clears it all out and you're ready to like, just take on the day with beautiful skin. Honestly, it's, it's a miracle treatment. Now I will say this is strong and you have to make sure that you test it out in small quantities because it does sometimes, I sometimes I put it on my skin and it really stings me and I have to take it off just depending on how my skin is that day. So I would definitely suggest making sure that you try it and in small quantities to see if it works out for you. But I absolutely love this for kind of breaking down my texture on my skin and giving me just a smooth canvas the next day. And then this is a newer purchase for me as well. This is the Rock Retinol Correction Line Smoothing Eye Cream. So I do use this every other night. That's what it recommends you to do when you start, use it every other night, and then um, you can slowly bring it in every night. And that's with all retinols, they kind of suggest you bring it in slowly to your routine to see how your skin's going to react. I really, really like this. I think it is not only retinol has retinol, but it actually is quite moisturizing, which is good because retinol can dry out your skin. So I'm really enjoying this. Again, I've only had it for about a month, so I can't really say that it's giving me huge results yet, but I like how it feels and I don't see any bad results. No drying of my under eyes, none of that. And I really like it. Okay, and then no matter what, every single night, I also make sure to put on a heavy dose of moisturizer because your skin loses a lot of water while you sleep. So you wanna be able to just put on some moisture to kind of lock in any, any sort of water that might be lost. Just try to capture any of it that we can hang on to here, okay? Remember, moisture equals less wrinkles. That's what I'm going for. So this is my second or third tub of the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream, you guys. I'm obsessed with this night cream. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. It is the best night cream I've ever used. It is so thick, creamy, moisturizing. You wake up and you feel like your skin is 
plumped, you feel like your skin still has moisturizer on it. Like you woke up and put on a moisturizer. It's nuts. It's nuts. So whether you've got dry, normal, or oily skin, I definitely suggest this because we all need moisture, especially at night. Absolutely. If there's one thing from this video that you get, it's this. And it, it's just so nice. A little bit goes a long way and I can't, I cannot suggest this enough. So I use this every single night. And then on the nights where I feel like my skin needs a little extra moisture. So I kind of just play it by ear, you know, every other night, every third night, I add a organic rose hip seed oil. Absolutely love rose hip seed oil. I've talked about it in my other videos. It just adds extra moisture, extra smoothness. It's just like your skin just drinks it up very, very good product to use at night if you want that extra moisturizer. And it also leaves your skin feeling super soft. This one is from Kate Blanc. I got it on Amazon. For a while, I was using the Ordinary's rosehip seed oil, but the, the dropper broke got halfway through. So half the product got wasted because it went bad because <laughs> I couldn't close the top. So I would not suggest that one. I just feel like the packaging was too cheap that it just ruined ruined the oil. So, so far, I, again, I've only had this for about a month. I'm enjoying it and it was affordable. So I definitely suggest checking it out. Okay. And then the last product, this is just for, if you need just like a quick cleanse of your skin during the day, or if you need to remove any eye makeup after you've cleansed your skin and you, it didn't quite get it off enough with the cleanser, I highly suggest this Bioderma Micellar Water. Absolutely amazing. Zero scent no stinging. A lot of my cellar waters sting my eyes. This one does not sting at all. And I really, really, really love this one. It's just so good for sensitive skin, good for sensitive eyes. I also love, I also love that this literally fits perfect right in here. And I just take off the cap. You take a cotton pad and you press it down. That's the kind of applicator, which is awesome. You don't have to dump anything out. It's very, very easy to use. So I get mine on Amazon. I don't know if they sell it in any stores. I've never seen it in a store near me. So not too sure, but Amazon's got it. And it's just the best, the best eye makeup remover slash quick cleanser that I've used. All right, you guys. And that's it for the skincare favorites current things I'm using for my skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below if there's anything that you're using that you love. Please, I always would love to try out new products and see what's out there. And if I'm missing anything, that's amazing. I have to know about it. Thank you so much for watching. I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. That really, really helps me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I so appreciate it and I will see you next time, bye.